Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about a free and open source integrated development environment for R. So um, the software's name is R Studio. And you can uh, go to rstudio.org to download that software. I have already downloaded the software, so I'm just going to uh, close it and show the software. So this is the ID for where you can see uh, there is a console. Just like there is uh, this one that has things for file, plot, package, help, and this is the workspace where you can see your values. For example, I'm going to go to my project, it's called the book. Here you can see the R code for this project. Here this is the R console, and this is the R workspace. And this is the session where you can see your files, blockages. For example, in this uh, workspace, there are some files here. All the plots will be shown here. Packages that are installed here are uh, these ones. Um, there is a help section, and this is a version control section. So now let's just um, run the whole code. All the code is running here in R. So you can see R is working here, and end of the code, all the data sets, uh, R objects are saved in this space. And for example, here the command was to plot a GLM object. So if I hit enter here, it will show me the plot this section. And another, another, and I want to see the help file for. I will see it here. So you see the for help file. Like this. So this is how uh, you will use the R Studio. So write your code here, and then you can see your R console in this space and the objects. For example, you see the data files just by. Like and all the data files will be open in this section. If you want to change uh, the way the course look like here, you can go to options and then appearance, and then you can choose uh, how you want it to look like. Say so you want to choose this. It will show course like this. So you option to do that. Also, if you want to uh, install a package, you can go to install packages from two and then say, for example, I want to install this package. And then I click install. And now I to uh, load the package. Like this, uh, I can use the require command or you can use the library command to do that. So, there you go, you can uh, try to install this software and see whether you like it or not. Uh, personally, I really like this software and I want you to uh, install it and use it to see uh, whether you like it or not. Thanks for watching.